Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Today we're in Miami at Renner slash Masterclass. We got Ronald here and we're actually featuring this 8 Series BMW. The interesting thing about this 8 Series BMW is that I think I can honestly say this is the most extensively restored and probably most extensively modified 8 Series BMW in the world. These guys have had their hands on every single part of this car. Exactly. What we did is we changed the color of the car. We did a full leather interior, custom tailored to the client. We, did a, we changed the motor. We put a S62 M5 powertrain with a six-speed. We did wheels. We did brakes. Everything in the car has been addressed, completely restored and modified to modernize it as a, the best 8 Series rest of mod. Essentially, this has become a brand new 8 Series BMW made today. Correct. And, and then also you've updated it with modern electronics. Basically everything works. Uh, it's all mated up to older 90s technology. Correct. We, there's a lot of things backstage that you don't see in the car, but it's been modernized. The AC system has been modernized to work in parallel with the powertrain. The hydro boost or the, uh, I would say, brakes and high, uh, power steering, it was merged together from the 90s to the modern powertrain that you have to work in combination. So you, have, you still have the 90s feel uh, on the car or appeal, but you will feel a different car when you drive it. Much faster car, much more braking on the car, much better on the steering. So it's, it's, it, you have the better, better combination. This is the E30 M3 that you restored. Everything is new. The doors are new, wheels are new, interior is new, carpet's new. Just everything is, it's actually a new car. And from this, what it's done is it's actually inspired you to do this company, Renner. So, well, Renner did, like I said, the E30 M3 gave me a big opportunity to open Masterclass. It was my, pretty much the E30 M3, bring a lot of clientele, bring a lot of uh, people to the market. It also it got me thinking that we can go further than that. Our passion is BMW, it's on our blood. We decided to grab very iconic cars from the 90s and the 80s and do a little bit of more fun stuff into it. With better engines, custom tailored to the clients. We're trying to do 10 8 series. We're in the works right now to build also 10 E30 M3s with different powertrains. And the cool thing around it, like I say, we can custom tailor to you. Okay, so when you say you're gonna build about 10 chassis, so you're only gonna build 10 8 series? Our intention is to try to build 10 samples of Renner 8, 10 samples of uh, Renner 3, that is the E30 M3, and uh, 10 samples of Renner 5, that is the E28 M5. Right now, currently we have some cars already pre-ordered. We're building right now a Renner 3, we're building two Renner 5s, and is, we're almost uh, concluding to build another Renner 8. Um, like I say, right now people are, you know, you can buy a new car and a lot and take it home and have fun. But right now what is in demand is to make something different. Yeah, something like this. This is an E31. They what? came uh, from 1991 to 1999. It came the A50, the A50 CI, A40, and the famous A50 CSI. This car was an 850. We acquired from BMW the original body kit from the CSI. We loved the look of that, and we, we didn't want to uh, modify it out of, the, uh, out of the, the, the originality of the car. And that's one of the things with Renner. We don't want to sacrifice the lines of the manufacturer. We want to keep very parallel with BMW. And believe it or not, and we'll explain, most of the parts that we're using on this car and most of the other cars are BMW. So we're trying to keep everything as much of original, even if there are different components, that will make the car more reliable to service in the future, not only to sell it, but use, and also very balanced and use the best components of BMW in every, every car. So essentially with Renner, what Renner is, is it's, it's like roof with Porsches. You're essentially giving these cars a second life and you're modernizing them. Correct. So what it is, these cars back in the 80s and the 90s, they were very iconic. The 8 Series now is getting more appreciated because now, of course, BMW expanded. Now BMW also launched the i8 and the 8 Series again. So the 8 Series, the original 8 Series, is going back to life. 8 Series, when it came out, 
It was a very technical car, very complicated car, and BMW was struggling to sell it. But one of the things that BMW did, and they, I believe they did a great job, uh, is they did a car that still today is a car that looks ahead of its time. Yeah, the, the special thing about this car, two main points why I love the 8 Series. Um, the pop-up headlights are so cool. You know, for it to be on a BMW, it just looks amazing. And it changes the shape of the car, right? And the, the fact that you can hide the headlights, essentially. And then also, no B-pillar makes it so special, and it just looks different than so many cars, so many Grand Touring cars of its time. And today, you can't find anything like that today. Really. Correct. So BMW took a big gamble doing the, the no pillar. Uh, and believe it or not, this car have a feature that back in the days, it was very modern. When you hit, uh, I believe it was 70 or 80 miles an hour for protection, the windows, if you had the windows down, all the windows would come up to protect the driver. The A series is very complex. And if it's an 850, it even make it worse. Uh, this, the wireless system or the throttle body, this, this is the first car, as the same thing as a Mercedes S, the, the S600, the big guys, B12. They were the first cars, Mercedes and BMW, at this time they came with the wireless throttle body. So this is the car who bring that technology to the market and nowadays any car have a wireless throttle body. So yeah. they do have some type of history. They do have, they, they're pretty much the first guy that came with that technology. Now what you guys have done is you've updated the powertrain, you've updated the look of it, and now it has a manual transmission. So can we start with the engine bay? So this, is a, this came out of a N5 E39. This is a BMW S62 powertrain that we purchased and completely restored the engine. We took the whole engine apart, completely built it, freshen up, new gasket, new rings, pistons, the whole thing. It's brand new, it's a fresh motor. We took out the V12, of course. We stripped the whole body of the car, same, same, same steps that I did with my M3. I apply it to this car. So what these cars, even if it's an A40 or A50, they, the cars, they don't come with a brake booster. So what they come with is a hydro booster. The hydro booster is a, is, is a combination of power steering, supplying pressure to a solenoid, so it can break, it can actuate it as a regular booster. So that was one of the challenging parts to make sure that the S62 works in combination with the car because the power steering pump of the E39 M5 is a regular power steering. So to merge that technology that, or that type of braking with power steering, it was challenging. So we, what we did is we redesigned the whole hydro boost system, maintaining the hydro boost, but optimizing with more, uh, we have to use a lot of aviation components, like if you see here. Oh, okay. So, so you used aviation components to match it with the hydro boost system, but my question is, why didn't you just get rid of the hydro boost system and put a, a normal, uh, just a brake booster? It won't fit. You see here, it will, the brake booster which should, which should be here, so there's not much clearance. There's a lot of people that do engine swaps or race cars that you maybe have a lot of experience in that. The problem when you do a, a, a solid uh, master cylinder, then you don't have a comfortable braking. So while we, we didn't want to compromise the smooth and original braking of the car, so it took us a little bit more to develop, but we managed to pull it off and maintain all the components of the hydro boost merged into the, uh, into the uh, powertrain of the S62. So that was one of the challenging things that we pulled it off and we're very excited because now the car still have that original braking, original uh, steering, but is are now uh, combined with the S62 working properly. You couldn't update the steering because you probably couldn't get another rack Correct, these are steering box, so they don't have a rack and pinion. So what we did is we maintain all the uh, steering box and everything on the car. It is not you know, a race car, it's pretty much designed to be a cruiser car, but with character. So we're very pleased the, how the car the drives and perform. So it's, 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 it's pretty much, you're driving, you, you're driving an 850 right now, it's just we, something happened on the powertrain, now you have more power. And of course, inside, you feel like it's a Rolls Royce or Bentley because everything is leather. We want to go the extra mile in luxury of the car. We want to make sure the car looks very presentable. And of course, there's a lot of stuff also in the powertrain that we did to take a lot of excessive cables and stuff like that. We're still on the works that we want to reduce more to make it more clean. We're developing the air intake system, improve it better. This one, the air intake, which utilized the original 
M5 components, we kept the original air cleaner from the A50, but the magic is underneath. So you don't see, but now you have more air induction design to, to make sure the engine breathe the right air and not, not kill the appeal of the uh, engine bay. Renner is not just about 8 Series BMWs as much as you love 8 Series. Renner, you're actually planning on working on um, E30 M3s and other BMWs, correct? Correct. Uh, so you actually have one in process getting built downstairs. Let's go check that out right now. Sure. Okay, so this is uh, actual Renner restoration in progress downstairs. Did this just come back from paint? Correct. So just to have an idea what is Renner, we go completely into the car. Uh, we make sure we strip the whole car, take the harness, everything out of the car. Paint. If it's a color change, and most of the times are, we had to go in deeply into the engine bay, interior of the car, sunroof, in the trunk area, and then we have it here. We already did the mock-up where the engine goes. All the uh, settings are already set before we send it to paint, so pretty much we have all the settings already for the B10. Okay, and the engine is right here. No, that's a S62. Oh, no, it's the, it's the... No, no, that's the engine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have a V10 for it, so we already have it mocked up. Okay, so is the V10 going to fit okay in here? It's a tight fit, but uh, we, already, we already have it uh, pretty much laid out. Uh, believe it or not, the engine fits on the chassis. It, I mean, it's very tight, but uh, we managed to get it in. Uh, the only thing that has to be modified that we already did is the steering column to make sure that we actually move it out of the way because the headers and it's, it's, it comes with the custom headers and everything. Um, I'll be honest with you right now, I love the 8 Series and you know, I photographed them, I've driven them, I like them. This is more my style build, you know, huge motor into a small car. Um, what are you going to have to do to make sure the balance is okay because it's going to be a lot of front heavy, right? Well, yes and no. We, we weight, the, of course, the S14 uh, is a very small engine. So compared to the V10, absolutely, we have some weight uh, differences. Uh, we're compensating with coilovers. We're doing some modifications in the back. Uh, it's going to be a little bit maybe heavy on the front, but we, have, we already did some settings. And also the way we did the engine in the, in the engine bay. Um, you know, it's tight, but we, the way we raise it and uh, angle it, 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 I think it's going to pull it off. Believe it or not, the V10 is aluminum engine. So it's, it looks big, but it's not that heavy. Uh, okay, so it's going to be manual transmission. What Correct. transmission will be mated to the V10? We got the original M5 six-speed. And we also, on this car, we managed to modify a transmission. So we have, that's top secret. But <laughs> so we have different settings for the E30 M3. We can go with the S62 also, like we did with the Renner 8. And we also have the S54, that is the E46 M3 with ITVs and, and a lot of uh, you know, settings for that. On the E30, the cool thing, or the E28, that you can do whatever on these cars. You know, the technology-wise, the only thing they have electronics is wipers and central locking. Everything else you can have uh, fun and do this. They have a, a, that little push button, check. Oh, check the, control, the, yeah. The check control. Uh, Are yeah. you gonna keep that for the V10? Yes, sir. <laughs> really, it's actually gonna work. Yeah. All, everything is going to be fully functional. The lights, everything on the chain control is going to work. Even we're going to marry the old pressure of the engine to the check control. So if you have a loss of pressure, you're going to have the check control working. Everything has to be functional. That's, that's the challenging parts when you do a, a swap. I mean, you can swap an engine. There's people out there, and I give them credit. Anybody want to do different things? And I think that's pretty cool that people want to try and do different stuff. But when, uh, when you're delivering a car like a factory deliver, it takes more time. It takes more engineering or more redesigning. So that's, that's the difference that we're trying to do with Renner. Uh, like I said, there's talented people out there, but we want to make sure we have everything in, in there. So yes. Well, I'll tell you what, Ronald. You just said that you could do other engines. All I heard was V10, and that, it pretty much stopped me there. All right. So is this a pretty common swap? Has people put the V10 in an M3? Very yeah. few people. Some of them out there. Some of them are racing them. There's a, there's a V10 out there that was racing Europe. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, it's very difficult to, 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 to modify. Believe me, I'll tell everybody, it's not easy. There's a lot of uh, 
work on the subframe. There's a lot of reinforcement. There's a lot of customization on the oil pan. You have, you have five oil pumps on a V10, and you have to make sure everybody works. So there's, there's a lot of uh, game. First of, okay, and then first of all, like the uh, E60 M5, especially with exhaust, it's probably one of the best sounding cars of all time. I feel like, I mean, especially from that era, right? So with that sound coming from something like this, I just can't wait to drive it. I can't wait to see it exist. And also on top of that, uh, you're essentially putting in a power plant that's what, three, almost four times the horsepower of the stock? I would say, I would say pretty much more than double. Yeah. Right. So how much like the factory the uh, E60 M M5 motor or yeah, it will go, it will go for 500 horsepower in, in power mode. Uh, the uh, regular E30 M3 comes with a four cylinder with 200, 195 US specs, 215 Euro or Evo 2, 225. So yeah, it's. Yeah, but then when you put the V10 in here, I'm sure it's going to be tuned too, right? You're going to make it Oh, more we're going to make it more power, yeah. Yeah, so it'll probably be almost three times the horsepower. Pretty much. We're trying to see if we can at least get it to 600. We don't necessarily want to build the fastest car. We want to build a car that is, makes sense and it's fun and it's different. Nowadays, you can, put, you can do turbos, you can do superchargers. There's a lot of you know, toys out there to put in these cars. I want to make sure that the, cost, the car is reliable for the client. This is a little more aggressive in powertrain fitment than the 8 series, but uh, I think one, we did already some, some testing and, and it, 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 can, it looked like we pulled it off. And you know, like I say, this is not, we're not the only ones that done a V10, there's some people done V10s, but it's not easy. Pretty much you had to acquire a whole M5 to make sure that you, you, you're working fine. And that's what we do too with renters. We try to whatever donor uh, car, we buy the whole car instead of buying separate parts. I like that. Test it on Norschleife. <laughs> <laughs> So then what, what is that rear end? That, that rear end came out of a C3M Roadster. So it gave us a little bit uh, nice setting. M Roadster, okay. Yeah. You just love taking different BMWs and smashing them together, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. It's like when you were little kids and you started taking apart the Legos and put different things. Yeah. yeah. The interior on this also, as much as I like the 8 Series that we featured up there, I think this is something more my taste. And I honestly think this is what the E30 M3 needed, this updating. You know, you're, you're making it really modern. Correct. We're modernizing the, we're doing a, a it's a resto mod, but a, in the rest of mod, we're trying to make sure that we use uh, a, a top of the line leather. It's so many new parts too. Like this is a brand new windshield with all right. new rubber. It has to be new. It has to, I it's, think. It is a new car. These yeah. people, if they want to buy a Renner, it's going to be a new car. Pretty much. So what does Renner actually mean? German means uh, race or racer. You know, Renner projects, racer projects. Is, uh, we, we building, two of these cars are building for private collectors that they race their cars and, and, and they're, they're in the racetrack and they, they have all different cars. So they wanna, they wanna test different things and go different directions too, to see if it pull. Like we did with the A-Series. I think we pulled it off with the A-Series to bring luxury, put some performance, push the envelope and make it a little bit different with colors. You know, it was, it was a sacrifice, but I think we pull it off. And it's a vehicle that once you put it on the road, people would definitely look at it and, and appreciate that it's, it's totally different out there. Renner, like I said, we can go with, with any color. Uh, we also can preserve original colors. If customers want to use Alpine white from BMW, Diamond Schwartz, red, or, or, the, or, or even if you want to restore like an A series with the original color, we respect that. That's, that's pretty much what we want. We want to make sure the client gets what they want. You know, we, we have, like I said, we have a variety of engines that we can provide. Awesome. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out, driving this and doing a full feature on this. Um, let's go back and check out the 8 series. We've had a chance to feature some of your cars before. We featured that one series that you essentially turned into a 1M, right? Correct. And I kind of got an inkling or I kind of got a feeling of what you guys were planning on doing with something like this. Last year when we had a chance to see this, it was still a bare shell. 
Correct. You know, and then you kind of gave me an idea of what you potentially will be doing in the future. Now the car is finished. It's here. It's sitting uh, in your showroom. This car pulls right, have the power that it needed. If you look at the car, like you say, it looks like a Grand Two car, but it, BMW, and one of the things why we did the Renner 8 is that pretty much BMW stopped on the CSI. CSI was, everybody was waiting for like, wow, we, we're gonna receive an M8. And BMW didn't launch that M8. And for me, I think we built the M8 from BMW. We have an N motor, and we have a good powertrain that pro makes the, propels the car right. You have a lot of power, you have a lot of top end, it's a good V8, you have a six speed. So, I mean, it, it, the driving of the car is super cool. I mean, it's, it's why you, the missing, I, only in the powertrain, it was the missing link of the A series. It's like we built two already 2002s with, uh, with the E30 M3 motors, and any that is enthusiast of 2002s, when you build an M2, it's a different bracket of, of value or, or presentation because, I mean, the E30 M3 motor was the motor that everybody wants on a 2002. And whoever owns a 2002 with a S14 know he's having fun. So that's pretty much what we're doing here on, on Renner 8. We want to make sure that any, every aspect of the car is being addressed, restored, bring them back to life. Of course, with a retro look, improved wheels. We have HRE doing wheels for us. That's an amazing thing that they custom wheel these wheels for us. We re-engineer the brakes. Uh, these brakes are, we can barely see it, but these brakes are BMW E60 M5 brakes on the car. So what we did is we measured the diameter of the rotors and everything. We customized the stroke housings and we managed to install original BMW calipers of an, M, of an E60 M5, it gives us the right diameter to stop the car properly. And also, in the future, if the customer needs to service the car, all those parts have, can be purchased through BMW directly. So you won't run out of stock. If I put Brembo brakes, that will, I, I will, I will install in five minutes. But if Brembo goes out of business or the parts are discontinued, then we have a car with no brakes. This car was completely client decision. We want to make sure he's comfortable with the colors, the design, whatever we do in the interior. One of the things we do in Renner is to make sure to maintain that, those 90s uh, looks on the car. Like we mentioned, we, we, we got the CSI rear wing, the CSI front package, so all original from BMW. Um, this color is a custom gold color. It was uh, cut and designed by Seekens, that we use Seekens and we also use Spice Hacker, so we're working with the top uh, lines of paint. It, was, it brings a lot of, if you see, it's a, it's a gold with a little bit of green. It comes, it has a metallic, it's a pearl color. So it depends how the light hit it, it's, it, it gives you the sparkle. It's a pretty cool color, I like it, it's different. I think the car looks super luxury the way the color is, is, is resembling. The, the wheels, the combination with the wheels with the gold and also the interior that I can detail more information on the, of the interior. I think it came out cool. Yeah, and you went down to complete frame. That's why all of this is matching color. Absolutely. We took, when we, a Renner is, a, a, when we do a Renner, we take everything apart, like we did with the E30 and 3, follow the same steps. With media blast, if it has to be media blast, most of the times we do the media blast because it, it, it makes you work with, a, with the base. And to take an A-series to the bone is a, is, is a big city. So we had to take a lot of equipment, a lot of components, and, and paint engine bay, paint interior. We paint the interior. We even insulate everything. So we go the extra mile also in insulations and primers. Tell me about the front end. Is there anything different about the front besides the badge? You have the Renner badge here. <laughs> Customized, yeah. yeah. We went original on the, on the uh, appeal. We use the BMW CSI original air dam. Uh, all the components, the, the, the covers, the factory Euro, Euro, Euro tag. Um, all these components are new. They're super hard to find from the A series and they're not cheap. We got from Europe the CSI mirrors. So these are original 850 CSI mirrors that were hard to find, but we got it from, from BMW. Brand new side skirts, brand new handles that they used to fail a lot. Um, Do you know what the size of these wheels are? These are, believe it or not, these are 18s. Why? To keep it that 90s look. A lot of people, oh, why you didn't put 20s? 
20s is nice, but or 19s, but we want to keep it a little bit more into the era. So HRE, you know, HRE, they usually do big wheels, but they were they were they they help us and and did the right setting for the car with 18s. Also on the rear brakes, these are E92 and M3 brakes. Can you tell me about the suspension there? Suspension is right now sitting on on H&R springs, uh, built in shocks. Right now we're in the works of doing our own coilovers. With uh, we have Allins, and we also have uh, Bill saying they're working with us to do another prototype for the next Renner 8. I love the pinstriping. That's kind of I the mean, whole 90, 90s. So this is actually hand done. We have a we have an artist here in Miami that did a great job on. It looks great. I like it. So it's called Project 8. Yeah. So we got uh, we did a, we partnership. We're trying to partnership with Easterman Exhaust. So they did our our exhaust for the A series. Came out phenomenal. Yeah, I'm sure it sounds amazing. We'll hear that when we actually drive this. Yeah. So let's talk about the interior. A series, they don't come with a leather dash. So all this, um, unless it's an A50 CSI special order that I haven't seen yet. But what we did on this interior is we grabbed all, all, all the interior, we, we wrapped it up with Napa leather uh, from Heinz. And we also did Alcantara on the, on the, on the headliner. So we got everything. Um, completely customized, so trim panels, rear seat, console, everything was wrapped in leather. And we kept it inside pretty much uh, original, but of course, more luxury with leather, completely leather, completely custom carpeting, com uh, custom also seat belts. And make it, uh, oh yeah, so this is cool because this matches the carpet color, huh? Carpet it's like and, a, the, it's green, like a green. and the green stitching on the leather. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing me this build. Thank you for showing us your shop. It's always such a good time when we come here in Miami to kind of connect with old friends. Um, we're going to actually take this out. We're going to shoot it. We're going to drive it and we're going to enjoy it around Miami. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Absolutely. things that I noticed about it is how much more connected it feels like it's very responsive yeah hmm. the shifter there for the 8 series is kind of weird so we try to keep it on the middle yeah it's actually really easy to drive yeah like I mean I guess that's the point correct you you want to make sure that you're comfortable and you don't have to like muscle yourself yeah. in the car to make it you know propel yeah the AC works great yeah. Sounds really good. Yeah. The steering wheel feels really nice. Yeah, it's like brand new wrapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good. Yeah, definitely more torque. <laughs>